New Seat Leon Cooper 300-2017 Review The Seat Leon Cooper gets a power boost for 2017 and while it's fast, it's lacking a little sparkle. Verdict 4 Star If you're in the market for a 300 BHP hot hatchback, the Leon Cooper 300 should definitely be on your list for consideration. It's a rounded, extremely competent and genuinely rapid device, and while its price looks a little high, it goes some way to making up for this with an extensive equipment list. What it is not, sadly, is a really sparkling driver's tool that can rival a Volkswagen Golf Club Sport or a Ford Focus R's. Perhaps a Cupra R will come along to fill that brief. But in the meantime, we have to file the Cooper 300 under more fast than fun. The seat Leon Cupra has been a fixture on the hot hatchback market ever since it first appeared as a V6 model back in 2000. In its most recent incarnation with four-cylinder power, it has seen outputs of 261 bhp, 276 bhp and, most recently, 286 bhp. Now seat has ramped it up again, with the Cooper 300. The Cooper 300 is, in fact, the most powerful seat road car ever. It gets a retuned version of the familiar VW Group 2.0 liter turbocharged petrol engine, producing 300 PS, hence the badge, or 296 bhp in UK numbers. There's more torque, too, as the old Cooper's 350nm is boosted to 380nm, and that figure is available across an impressively wide band, from 1,800 RPM to 5,500 RPM. The Cooper 300 package will be offered across the 3-door SC, 5-door hatch, and more practical ST estate body steels, although there are some significant mechanical differences between the three variants, because the wagon is available only with 4-wheel drive and a 6-speed DSG dual-clutch transmission. The hatchbacks are front-drive only, although you can choose between the DSG and a 6-speed manual gearbox. With that combination of 4-wheel drive and a dual-clutch box, the ST manages to overcome its extra weight to be the fastest accelerating of the bunch, it can crack 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 4.9 seconds. But the others aren't far behind, a manual SC takes 5.7 SEC, while a 5-door with the same gearbox requires 5.8. You can cut a tenth off those manual transmission times if you choose the automatic model. But regardless of spec, all Cooper 300s have a limited top speed of 155 miles per hour. On the outside, the Cooper 300s get different front and rear bumpers, bespoke door sills, a rear roof spoiler, 19-inch titanium finish alloy wheels and red brake calipers with the Cooper logo. It's quite an arresting look. In fact, particularly as an SC, whose overall appearance switches from pretty to muscular. The ST, meanwhile, can be the epitome of discrete performance or a Larry Hot Rodder, depending on your choice of paint job and wheel color. Inside, there's an 8-inch touchscreen display instead of the old Cooper 6.5-inch unit, plus sport seats that manage to be supportive without feeling too claustrophobic. You now get an electronic handbrake instead of the proper lever, too. But beyond a gloss black detailing and the flat-bottomed steering wheel, complete with Cupra logo, naturally, there's not an enormous amount to remind you that you're in the range-topping hot hatchback. As with all Leons, it's neat and functional but any Spanish flair is well hidden. We're focusing on the three-door SC and five-door hatch, because they have similar mechanical line UPS. The good but unsurprising news is that these cars feel fast, there's perhaps a slight hesitation in second gear, almost as if the system is limiting the torque levels to protect the transmission, but it doesn't half kick on once you're up and running. The engine will rev to more than 6,000 RPM, and while it's not the most characterful of notes, it's never harsh. The DSG gearbox will give you staccato rasps from the exhaust on upshifts, too. Equally impressive, and this is not something that you could say for all of Cupra's in the past, is the ride quality. 
It's a nicely judged mix, allowing the Leon to hang on impressively in corners while not cracking your fillings over speed bumps. You can tweak the settings of the Leon's adjustable hydraulic dampers as part of the standard fit Cooper drive profiles, although it makes only a mild difference. The same can be said for the engine settings and steering profile, although at least you can set up your own preferred blend so you can make the most of the small variations. So it's as fast as you probably need a hot hatchback to be, compliant to the point of being comfortable, and pretty well specced. But we ought to say at this point that the outgoing Cooper 290 didn't exactly feel slow when we tried it in May last year. And therein lies a bit of a problem, because we can't help but feel a little frustrated that seat has just gone after more power, an easy target, given the VW Group parts bin, instead of delivering something to really make the Leon stand out as more than just a cheaper Volkswagen Golf R. Take the steering, for example. It's accurate enough, true, so you soon learn to trust it on twistier roads. But there's a little bit too much slack around the straight ahead, and this never feels like a car that's dancing on its nose. It's hard to forgive the brake pedal modulation, too, which makes it hard to heel and toe on the manual, and impossible to overlook the configuration of the gear stick in the DSG versions, which forces you to push forwards to shift up. That said, many will favor the steering wheel mounted paddles though frustratingly there's no fully manual mode, as the transmission software automatically kicks up as you hit the red line. Foibles like these give the impression that despite all of the marketing claims, Seats Motorsport team has actually had relatively little input here, and that the Cooper 300 is, when all said and done, a box-ticking exercise in how to build on existing strengths instead of an attempt to really develop something new. It's a commendable, astonishingly competent effort in lots of ways, but a little bit cynical in others. Key Specs Model Seat Leon Cooper 300 Price, £30,140 Engine, 2.0-liter 4CYL turbocharged petrol Power, 296 bhp Torque, 380 nm Transmission, 6-speed manual, front-wheel drive 0 to 62 miles per hour, 5.8 seconds Top speed 155 miles per hour. Economy, 40.9 mpg. CO2, 158 g slash km. On sale, now.